What I would like first is five reds, when I say in there, or the five non-bibs in there, five bibs in the end grid. Now, there's two balls on the side, three there. Just use one. It's going to be a handball game in your grid. That's all you've got to worry about. Moving it, passing it, going somewhere else, but using our hands. Same group doing the same thing down there in green. And then on the whistle, you're going to put the ball down on the floor in both grids, and you're going to break through into this, what I call a jungle area here. And you'll see different agility stations. As soon as you've got that ball, pick it up. One nil to non-bibs. Okay, Anne, hold it there. Great start, one nil to you. You got there quicker, too slow, the last couple of guys in here. Well, I set the theme of the warm-up up into two grids with uh, some agility stations in between, and the idea behind that was with, there was a ball in each grid where they were playing a handball game, just to get them passing and moving and switching on, and then just on my whistle, then they changed grids very quickly, because counter-attacking is all about pace and changing direction and, and getting forward as quickly as you can through the agility stations, various agility stations, which we said, look, you express yourselves, they've done them before, to see what they come up with really, and to get through and, and, and uh, as quickly as they can. Okay, this time the ball's on the floor. We pass move. Now, whether it's one touch, two touch, I don't know. Whether we're having those little drag turns and playing, whether we're popping it off around the corner and moving, I don't know, but I want us on the move. This again is not movement for me in this session. If I play it and I just do that, I'm not gonna lose anyone. Play it, go somewhere else. Somebody replaces me. Off you go. You can play one touch if it's on. You can play one touch if it's on. Your decision. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Three, two, the greens. 